Alright guys, welcome back to a new series. Um, this is a, a sort of an extended tutorial from the previous one I did uh, quite a while ago now. Um, I did it before on, on the Pro Plus setting. Um, quite soon after they did the change online from Pro to Pro Plus, obviously because everybody was just smashing it and just winning, winning one visit every every frame and got a little bit boring. Um, this this tutorial is going to be specifically over the same areas. We're looking at sort of episode one for the break off, um, two for long shots, splitting of the pack um, for, for number three, number four would be sort of break building, um, and five would be safety play. Now the difference with this one, guys, is this one will be on master plus setting, which a lot of you that probably watch the video don't play master plus. You probably just stick to the online online game which is you know which is fine it's great you know if you, if you enjoy doing that and you have more fun doing that then then carry on doing that um but this is just to, to just to give people my knowledge really i mean i'm not the best um at the game but you know i've got certain things that i understand and certain things i know under master plus which might help one of you if it does drop a comment by all means and, and a like and and equally ask for stuff that you want to see ask for stuff that you want explaining uh, i'll do my best to answer you guys not a problem at all um so we'll crack on to this one now this is this is more around the break off shots um doesn't really matter who we use um There will be a little bit of a trick in this, guys, in a second. Because um, I understand on the practice table you can change the arena, although I'm not 100% sure um, at this time. Let's sort of look, shall we? Hmm. Right, okay. <coughs> well, we'll go for it for now. Um, the only reason why I say that, guys, is on the break off, particularly if you're playing in different arenas online or you know if you're playing in your career. There was a bug a long time ago or a glitch where certain people knew in certain arenas if they hit the, the pack in a certain way in a certain power and speed that they would pot a red off the break and then obviously they would just clear them all up so nobody would get shot so i think they just manipulated the pack in some respects so you you would you know you're not highly unlikely not to pot a red um we're going to try the break that i use currently on master plus and then we'll see what the split does and then we can go through it from there so generally I always put the white just inside the left side of the brown as you look at the table and obviously you haven't got the blue line that you do on the Pro Plus setting but guys pay particular attention um, to the to the sort of shaded green area which is going left and right by the left side of the black as you're looking at it now um, because obviously that are the, that's where I pick my sort of sweet spot to where I want to hit it uh, currently I'm not changing the power I'm leaving it at 50% um, but generally, I sort of go for sort of a that sort of angle. So it's almost the top part which goes from the the object red. It goes across the line goes across the bottom of the five reds. You can see it going all the way through. If anything, when it gets to the end red, it goes slightly above. And then this lighter green area, which points to the top cushion behind the black, um, is at a slightly different angle. Um, it's not it's not parallel to the side cushions. It's closer to the black than it is to to the left cushion for example so if you sort of go on that um that line and leave the pair of 50 percent this is generally the break off shot i try um now i've over hit my power there so and that that that's where we're going to talk about the next part really with regards to power um that isn't a good break off you're going to leave um you're going to leave multiple reds there and somebody with a bit of class to them is going to absolutely just destroy you in that. So that's an error on my part and that is what makes break-offs so nervous for a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> so we'll, hopefully we'll try and get one right for you just to give you an idea of what we're talking about. Um, now the idea is to leave it safe but also, also to bring a red into play or perhaps pull it in a position whereas if they make a mistake they might leave you an opportunity. Um, See that pair was spot on, so I'm like to think that that would go between the brown and the green, and actually snooker your opponent on all of the reds, which it has. Now sometimes, guys, the, the you know if you drop just slow forty fifty percent on that shot, you'll leave a gap between the green and the blue, which you can roll up to the pack 
so the bottom three reds to the left the right of the pink as you're looking there now that's fine but because it's so close to the bottom cushion it, you automatically put top on the white ball so the ball will roll out further than it normally does if you're just playing it with plain ball so there's a strong possibility that you might glance off not the loose red only open but the red just to the right of it and by doing that you may glance off it enough to leave that red on um, so that is a good break to do guys um, I also see people sort of um, position the red oh, sorry the white ball like this and then they'll they'll glance off the reds so they'll they'll sort of really hit it very very lightly and they're not really fussed about the direction that the white ball goes in providing it doesn't bring any reds out into play see that red just tried to pop out there um, that's actually not a bad line you know if, if we was accurate on our power there's a strong possibility we'd have done exactly what we did on my break but it would have been just a different look um, now sometimes when people do that they'll hit it too hard um, they'll sort of go 40 41 percent um, miss the power and then that happens um, and you can be fortunate guys like I was then um, it does happen equally some people will put the yellow uh, the white by the yellow and go for a glance off here I just want to show you what happens when you miss your power totally you miss your power totally above that happens and then you've left a, a whole world of pain for yourself because there's easily sort of I would have suggested 30 or 40 points there um, so give that some thought guys when you're playing your, your break off shots you know um, don't be scared about playing an attacking break off just come to the practice table give it a couple of checks see what works for you check out the different arenas um, because even though the break I do is this one I know that if I play that break on some of the arenas um, the reds will go everywhere they will go absolutely everywhere and and I've been punished like that before and on an online tournament and pro plus especially when I'm not 100% sure on the names of which ones it does it I could do it I could cycle through them all but it would just take forever it would be pointless so you probably know better than I do um, another one which I've watched Rainy Lamb do and he does it to me um, actually I think he does it to most people and I will try my best to, to reenact it for you. Um, something similar to that. So he positions his ball, white ball sort of almost in the middle of the yellow and the brown. It might even be the middle, but we'll give it a try. Similar line to mine with regards to hitting the corner red. Now his plan is to get the white ball off the top cushion and the side cushion and go between the yellow and brown and end up snookering you behind the green. Um, so we'll give it a try. Right. now there's a slight problem here um, guys and the problem is if you're not comfortable about going off this side cushion into that those reds by the pink what I would suggest that you do is um, trial it and make sure your power is really really short it's not nothing wrong providing you block that single red this is why rainy lambs break is quite attacking because if you were to go off two cushions and nestle in the bottom of the reds which i prefer to do because it's a larger target that single red that sticks out you'll be surprised but that actually is potable um, and equally if you get it totally wrong you'll push the red out the right corner so you then got a red either into the green pocket and the, or the middle pocket on the right and equally if you glance off it too much or even miss it you could end up back above on the blue line with that single red in play again I mean obviously it's a braver shot to play more narrow attacking shot to try and nip that single red because you could push it out into play and in, you know 
um, in a pot pull position for, for from anywhere. Um, so just give that some thought, guys, when you're playing your shots, especially on your on on your, on your break off shots, because you can really put somebody in a difficult position off the break. It doesn't have to just be an up and down glance where the reds don't move. Um, so you know, give yourself five ten minutes on a practice table just to work out what's good for yourself. Uh, I'll stick to mine, and I'm sure Rainy Lamb will stick to his. Um, but yeah, give give that you know give that a go. Um, obviously, you have got your other breaks, which personally I I wouldn't recommend. Um, not because they're not effective, because I know that I play people that that use the the, the break off shot with the right hand side that take takes the white off the top cushion and the side cushion between the the, the blue and the pink. And ends up going the green when no reds are in play and they're in a really really good position my only fear of that is is that when you're playing it with side over a long distance the room for error is massive it's like really really big so i don't i mean i've just got my power wrong slightly there but it was within the target now that's actually not a bad effort but people still try that break now that white has stopped just in the right place it from it's just rolled far enough to mit so that red misses tie on that corner pocket if that white would have been an ounce slower there would have been a pot on to potentially split the reds absolutely everywhere um again you know if you're comfortable doing that by all means crack on with that um and you know the break works the same either side it's just that you have to mirror your um you have to mirror your sort of um lines that you've got there uh we'll give it a try quickly this again this is my break but from the other side now on the arenas where the where you're breaking from the yellow side where the red split everywhere doing this break if you go to the other side between the brown and the green um they don't i missed my power there i was massively short but generally guys you can see the um see what i'm getting at um because obviously if it if it hit that hard enough it would have been a wider angle off that bottom red and it would have sent the white wide of the blue and between the brown and the yellow um <clears throat> that's pretty much it guys um you know if you feel that i've missed something um drop drop a comment in there you know let let me know what you want to see um if if anything you know you my twitter page is in it is uh in the description send me a, a little video of what you do and why you think yours is effective and I'll, I'll happily take a look for you not a problem at all um but yeah um that's it on the breaks guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode